Coming to the ring now is the man, Becky Lynch, the hottest star in WWE. And her opponent is this beast of a performer and an athlete, Bull Nakano, dominate, dominated all Japan women's pro wrestling and WWF in the late 90s. And they start with a test of strength and Becky showing the upper hand, hits the drop toe hold, creates some space. You don't want to get right into it with a competitor with the likes of Bull Nakano. Absolute beast in the ring. And now another test of strength. This time it's Bull with the upper hand. She gets the drop toe hold. Tip for tat there. Sends Becky into the corner. Becky snaps right out of it but meets an elbow as she comes out of the corner and now hits a snap, snap bear takedown on Bull Nakano, has her over the shoulder. And there's another one for good measure. Becky playing it smart so far, another test of strength. Becky has the upper hand, they break it up, go back to it, now Bull has the upper hand. She hits another drop toe hold to send Becky face down in the mat. It's an Edziguri by Becky, who then hits an elbow across the back of Bull Nakano. Becky sends Nakano into the corner. Nakano comes to before she can take advantage and Becky clearly showing to have the upper hand in these tests of strength exchanges here. Puts Nakano in the corner this time. She has a chance to stomp a couple boots into the midsection. Dazes Nakano for a moment. She hits a raising left hand there. Has a double choke on Becky and not often will a female competitor manhandle Becky in this way, have her dangling there above the ring. Now they're exchanging blows. Left hand by Nakano, a right uppercut by Becky, puts her down. And Becky now trying to put some distance from her in the rope, perhaps setting up that disarmor. Her su submission finishing maneuver. Another spinning wheel kick by Becky. Then she goes to the leg submission. Uno checks on Bull Nakano, but she escapes. And now Becky goes to the arm bar. She's got that arm bar starting to warm it up, starting to wear it down, getting ready for that disarm her, her finishing maneuver. Snap mare takedown by Nakano. Nakano has yet to really string together the offense. Thus far it's been mostly Becky who hits an elbow on Nakano, then takes Becky down. Both back up to their feet about the same time. Nakano sends Becky into the ropes, goes for the clothesline. And she got it. Big boot by Nakano. Oh, we apologize for the technical difficulties here. We're going to fix this as soon as we can. Camera's having trouble keeping up with the action. And now Nakano hits the... Dropping power bomb, one, two. Pinning predicament, Becky kicks out. Becky goes back to the arm though, answers right back. Doesn't want to let her off easy and wants to keep working that arm over to set her up for the disarmor. Rock bottom by Becky, goes for the cover. One, two, and Nakano kicks out. Two tie up now, Nakano, what's she setting up here? Looking like a pile driver, she drops and gets it right in the middle of the ring. Becky not moving. And Nakano drops a big leg drop right on her there. Becky goes for the Bexploder suplex and she got it in the middle of the ring. And now Becky going to the ropes. Nakano is dazed and Becky hits a big clothesline, getting fired up. Might be get, getting ready to set up that disarmor. She's on the top rope, drops a bigger leg drop. And there's the disarmor. Lynch has it deeply applied. Nakano's nowhere near the ropes. Is she gonna submit? No, she manages to escape. Looked like for a minute there she was considering it. Another clothesline by Becky, puts Nakano down. Now Becky into the ropes, drops a leg drop across the back of Nakano. Nakano reverses that pile driver attempt and she goes for the cover. One, two, no, Becky kicks out. The last moment, uppercut by Becky. And it was a beauty. They heard that in the cheap seats, for sure. Forearms to the back of Nakano, puts her down. Disarm her is locked in. Is this enough to submit Bull Nakano? No, she's able to escape again.
but you gotta believe the damage is being done as a dropping DDT by Nakato stuns Becky for a minute and then a huge splash right into the middle of the ring puts Becky down. And that's gonna give Becky something to think about here as Nakano drops her with a front face lock there, modified suplex. And Nakano just using her mass, her sheer size, throwing herself into Becky, that puts her down. Here's a DDT now. Nakano starting to string together some offense. She's on the top rope. What's this, a flipping leg drop by Bull Nakano. What a maneuver by a woman of that size. She has the pinfall. Two and no, Becky kicks out. Nakano keeping her honest. Oh, what a power bomb that was, vicious. Two. Oh, Becky still manages to kick out. And this is why they call her the man. It takes a lot to keep her down. Jumping pinning predicament here. One, two, Becky trying to sneak one by Nakano, but not doing. Nakano drops another leg across the chest of Becky. She's up now. And Bull has managed to even things out in this matchup. It started out all Becky. Now Nakano's answering. Now they're exchanging blows and Becky hits a drop kick. And Nakano answers right back, and that has been the story of this matchup thus far. Both wanting to show which is the more dominant. Nakano answering with a clothesline. She's hit a couple of those from Becky tonight. Hits the drop kick, puts Becky down. Suplex set up by Nakano. Stalling suplex. Oh, she's taking her time. And you know Becky felt that, and she might need a minute to collect herself as Nakano drops another leg drop. Becky springs two, tries to catch her breath and manages to land the drop kick. Could be setting up, no, huge clothesline from Becky. Nakano's right back up and you see Becky trying to shield that. She's in pain, she's exhausted. She's trying to collect herself here in between her breaths and hits a big clothesline on Nakano followed by a European uppercut. Nakano now. Starting to slide a little bit. Becky sends her to the ropes, goes to the opposite side, and a drop kick by Becky. Puts Nakano down. And again, we're just seeing that issue with our cameras. We apologize there. And Becky going for another forearm. A lot of strikes thus far have been the answer for Becky. They seem to be working strikes and drop kicks. There's a disarmer in the middle of the ring. Uno's checking on Nakano. Will she submit here? No, Nakano manages to fend off her third. Disarm her. And you got to admire the fortitude of Nakano not going quietly to the finishing submission of Becky Lynch and reverses that attempt by Becky, drops her on her head and gets the pin in the middle of the ring. Two and point nine before Lynch manages to escape. And Nakano's tired, Lynch is tired. They're both putting it all on the line for this win. And Nakano looking for the pile driver, she got it in the middle of the ring and she's calling for the finish. She says it's over, but Becky converts it, reverses into a pin, two, and Nakano kicks out. Second time Becky attempted that, but same result, Nakano able to catch her, able to break out just in time. And now Becky has Nakano, sends her to the opposite corner of the ring, digs a shoulder into her and hits the enziguri. Oh, Becky Lynch, that's why they call her the man. She hits the splash across the top, and now she's firing up this crowd. Looks like she's gonna go for it again. This time goes for the leg drop, and that connects. Nakano has no answer. She is responsive, not unresponsive, I should say. Reverses Becky into the corner, but she fights out of it. Answers with a right forearm. Nakano with a right hand, setting up the suplex, but Becky escapes. What a... Wily maneuver there by Becky as she hits Nakano in the back and hits another leg drop across the back. Coming off the top rope, Becky has not been shy. She's not yet missed from the top rope. And Nakano goes to the bread basket. Goes for a modified suplex, drops the leg across the chest of Becky. Becky hits a drop toe hold. And a right uppercut. Sends Nakano down, but she answers right back with a kick. Bexploder suplex by the man. 
she is setting things up here. Looking for the finish, looking for that way out. Goes for a rock bottom by Becky. And a leg drop from the top rope again. She is five for five from the top rope. And curse of the commentator. She misses that leg drop and that's gonna cost her as Nakano sets her up, but the two collide, both competitors down. Lynch is first to her feet, repositions Nakano, looking to get her away from that rope. Might be trying to set up, disarm her. Sends a couple uppercuts. These do not knock down Nakano, but that drop kick did the trick. And Nakano not there to answer. Becky trying to catch her breath in a left hand by Nakano. Rigs her to her knees and a big leg drop by Nakano. Oh, Bull Nakano is fighting back here. Gets the cover. Two, three, and Bull Nakano gets the victory over the man, Becky Lynch. What a first showing by Bull Nakano, knocking off the top female performer in all professional wrestling. 100% match evaluation and five stars. What a performance by these two. And you can certainly expect to see both of them back on actually real wrestling in the near future.